At the core of all model-based reinforcement learning is the predictive dynamics model. This is a function which predicts the next state, given the current state and action. However, most of the time, we don't actually care about just the immediate next state. What we want is information about the general future, for long-horizon decision-making. The way we turn short-horizon predictions from a dynamics model into long-horizon information is via model-based rollouts, whereby we repeatedly use a model's outputs at the previous step as inputs at the next step. Inaccuracies in learned models can compound over the course of this rollout, meaning that models trained for single-step prediction may not provide reliable information about longer horizons. What if we could train a model to directly predict the long horizon information we care about without the need for rollouts? We accomplish this by reinterpreting temporal difference learning as a method for training generative models of environment dynamics. The resulting model has a probabilistic horizon governed by a geometric distribution. As an analog to infinite horizon model-free control, we refer to this formulation as infinite horizon prediction, and the corresponding model as a gamma model. The gamma model is a natural continuous analog to the successor representation that retains an interpretation as a probabilistic model. It is a hybrid between model-free and model-based mechanisms. Like a value function, it contains information about the long-term future and is conditioned on a policy. Like a dynamics model, it is independent of reward. Gamma model training amortizes the work of performing sequential model-based rollouts, such that queries about the far future are simple to make at test time with a single feedforward pass of the model. In our paper, we show how to train gamma models as both normalizing flows and generative adversarial networks. Replacing standard single-step models with gamma models leads to generalizations of the procedures that form the foundation of model-based control. For example, we can derive a generalization of model-based rollouts. Each step of a gamma model rollout has a negative binomial distribution over time. We may reweight the per-step predictions to approximate a gamma model trained with a larger discount. We only need a single step of a gamma model, however, to perform value estimation. This stands in contrast to conventional dynamics models, which must estimate values using extended rollouts. We use this generalization of value estimation to instantiate a control method called gamma model-based value expansion that incorporates a gradual transition between model-based and model-free value estimation. Thank you for watching. For more information, please see our paper and accompanying website.